Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to do with the um, the German cavalry. Because um, I'm trying to get away, like I said, from the, the gaminess thing. And I, like when I look at like, you know, with the second cavalry division, I, I mean, technically, I guess, I, like I was saying before, I could like zip them like straight through there. It just seems really bizarre. And um, I'm also having issues like still trying to figure out about... Um, lines of communication with um the german cavalry like about <clears throat> like what happens if you know they get cut off if the the russians do start you know pushing around like spreading out or whatever um so i don't know i, I i'm not saying it's a cop out or but it is a way of getting around getting around that little quandary until i figure it out is what i'm going to do is use the cavalry to um obviously continue disrupting the lines of communication, especially the rail lines, and then always try to just stay a little further ahead than the Russians. So that way, hopefully, they'll never actually have to engage in combat and I'll never have to deal with the um, what's going on with their lines of communication <laughs> cut or something. Part of me also feels weird that, I mean, kind of, I don't know. I have to read, read up and watch maybe some shows on... Um, how cavalry was used in World War One more often. Maybe if there was like accounts of like how far cavalry divisions went away from their front or whatever, you know what I mean? And that type of stuff. I, I just no idea. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just move them, move these cavalry. Uh, oh, here. I can't even see the bloody camera. There, there we go. So I'm just going to move the move the cavalry. I think I'm going to move the fourth back to bit here. And then the eighth is going to replace the fourth. The fifth is going to move back into the woods here and just still cutting off the, the rail lines. So at least they're going to have a difficult time, the Russians, getting um, reinforcements in, as well as I'm hoping that will be a way of pushing the Russians more towards their um, uh, border due to the fact that they'll have all these cavalry bothering them. And like I said, just always trying to stay a little far away enough to you know entice them the russians to keep going that way and then i'll keep nudging them hopefully with uh these guys or whatever yeah man i just took a quickie look at uh i wasn't even looking at the uh, mobile phone um i really 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 do need to spend some time uh practicing over the weekend or do something like that because my god i'm cut the camera all uh, angled all over the place and i think with the second cavalry division as well i'm just going to move them over to I think here, or no, here, yeah. So that way I'll disrupt both rail lines and I'll get a bit of the wood. Like, I don't expect the uh, Russians to go after me, but that's what I'm going to do with the cavalry. Just keep them, like I said, keep them a bit behind. And that way I can get away with uh, not being too gamey of, like, you know, being over 100 kilometers away from your line, from your headquarters and all that crazy nonsense. Okay, that's it.